On the line right now, Mike Croft. He uh, participates in the uh, CNY MRA, the Central New York Motocross Riders Association. Mike, how's it going today, bud? Good. How are you? I'm doing quite well. So tell us a little bit about how you got started in, with racing. Um, let's see. I, um, I was about 14. Um, always been interested in, in motorbikes, dirt bikes, and anything with wheels. And uh, my dad used to take me to the races when I was younger. We used to watch. And um, after watching a couple weeks in a row, I decided I wanted to get interested or get involved and start racing myself. So, and I, I have to remind everyone that you are from Cooperstown, and that's where a lot of the racing uh, takes place, correct? Um, pretty pretty close to there. Um, over in South Edmonton, you got the famous Unadilla motocross track where right. a lot of the pros race every year. Yeah, they have that big festival or that big uh, circuit that goes through there every year. When is that usually? Um, usually middle of August. Okay. Yep. So, all right. So you do a lot of your racing there. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the, um, I don't want to, I don't know that it'd be really not necessarily leagues, but, uh, some of the different racing groups you're, uh, involved with. Um, well, I race CNY MRA, um, which is pretty much central New York. That's uh district three. And that circuit races all over from, uh, down near Binghamton. At Boom Tioga, we okay. go out near Syracuse at Frozen Ocean. Uh, we go up north by uh, Pulaski in Mexico. And we even do races at Unadilla and Thunder Ridge in Edmondson. Nice. So that's pretty much all over central New York. And you draw some pretty big crowds for these events too, right? Yeah, yeah, depending on the week, and especially if it's uh, good weather. Um, get a couple, Sometimes a couple thousand people come out to watch. That's pretty awesome. It's got to be a good feeling to be out there racing in front of all those people. And you're pretty good yourself. You uh, you run the Nightcross Series at Twister Valley Sports Complex on Friday nights as number 11. And you won the Open Sea Nightcross Championship last summer. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yep. Yeah, last summer we ran uh, the Nightcross Series up at Twister Valley in Fort Plain. Um, ran for points all season long and uh, got lucky. Won the championship there. Um, and then we're moving up to the Open B class this year. We're going to try and um, compete with a little better competition this year. Now, Mike, you take uh, you take the racing very seriously. It's a big part of your life, and I know we've talked about this before. Uh, so much so that you went and, and took a little trip this winter, and good thing you did because it was a miserable winter and uh, just awful. You went down to Florida train. Tell us about that. Yeah, I spent... Uh, a little over two months uh, in Tampa, Florida, practicing um, pretty much four or five days a week, train during the morning, do some running and some workouts, and then uh, hit the track in the afternoon, put in, put in a lot of practice laps this winter, and uh, get in shape. Hopefully it pays off this summer. Yeah, that's good. And now was it a program that you did, or was this all just independent, uh, independent training? Uh, pretty much just independent, training on my own. Uh, I had some friends down there that I rode with and uh, even met up with a couple ex-pro riders, got some pointers from them. That's awesome. So, all right, that's all, that's really cool, and I just wanted to uh, ask you, you said the season has kicked off already. It started this weekend. When does it run till, and how can people go and uh, watch the races? Uh, yeah, this, this past weekend was the first race of the season. And we usually run all the way up until the very end of September. Um, pretty much you can go on cnymra.com, and our schedule's on there. There's directions to all the tracks. Nice. And um, pretty much when you find a race close to you, just head on out and come watch. Okay, and for people that are maybe young kids or uh, teenagers that might want to start getting into racing, tell us a little bit about how they become uh, a member of the AMA the American Motorcycle Association, and how they can, you say there's lessons available too, right? Yeah, um, there's a lot of a lot of riders that uh, give motocross schools. They'll uh, teach you, you know, on a weekend, you can sign up for the school, and they'll teach you different techniques and riding styles, um, help you out, give you some pointers, uh, get better at riding. Um, you can join the AMA online or at the track, uh, and then once you're a member of the AMA, you join 
you know, either say District Three or different circuits like the the Night Cross Series at, at Twister Valley. Okay. And uh, and then give us that website one more time again, so with that uh, so they can know where to go. That's cnymra dot com. All right, Mike. Well, thank you so much for sharing your uh, experience with his experiences with us. And good luck to you again this year. I know you got a big year ahead of you, and uh, you're excited about it. And uh, I wish you all the best. All right. Thanks.